Can diabetics drink Gatorade? It is a fair question. Gatorade's got that sporty swagger, promising to quench your thirst and replenish electrolytes. But for people managing blood sugar, things get a little trickier. So buckle up, grab your glucometer and let's dive into the science. Let's face it, Gatorade packs a sugary punch. A 20-ounce bottle typically throws down 34 grams of sugar, which is more than your daily recommended allowance. That sugar is gonna send your blood sugar soaring like a star athlete, not exactly ideal for diabetes management. But here is the twist. Sugar isn't all created equal. That is where the glycemic index comes in. It ranks how quickly carbs rise your blood sugar. Regular Gatorade clocks in at a whopping 89 on the GI scale that is higher than a candy bar. So, chugging Gatorade is like a pouring rocket fuel on your blood sugar levels. Okay, so Gatorade's not exactly winning the blood sugar game. But hold on, it does have some redeeming qualities. Gatorade's packed with electrolytes like sodium and potassium, essential minerals lost through sweat during exercise. For diabetics who exercise regularly, these electrolytes can be crucial in preventing dehydration and managing proper muscle function. But remember, you can get electrolytes from other sources like unsweetened coconut water or even a sprinkle of salt on your food. So what is the verdict? Should diabetics ditch Gatorade altogether? Not necessarily. Here is the deal. Regular Gatorade Probably best avoided due to the high sugar content and high glycemic index. Gatorade Zero this sugar-free version might seem like a win, but artificial sweeteners can still impact blood sugar in some people. Plus, they raise other health concerns. Gatorade G2 Lower in sugar and calories than the original, but still not ideal for frequent consumption. Water with electrolytes Your best bet Add a pinch of salt to unsweetened flavored water or opt for electrolyte tablet for a sugar-free, customizable hydration solution. Remember, always check your blood sugar after trying any new drink and talk to your doctor or registered dietitian for personalized advice. So there you have it, the Gatorade and Diabetes Lowdown. It is not a love story, but it is not a complete bust either. Just know your body, choose wisely and stay hydrated. Until next time, stay sweet and keep rocking that diabetes life. Bye bye.